what's up guys this is Shashat and in this video we are going to show you the review of Bluestacks gaming performance on a PC with no graphic card but onboard graphics like Intel HD and AMD series graphics so I have a couple of games and the first is GTA 3 You can see that the game has a problem running in uh, ultra settings smoothly so I must turn the settings to medium so that it can run smoothly. Now you can see that the game runs absolutely smoothly at medium settings without a graphic card in blue stacks. So next up is Dead Trigger and we will be testing it. It has does not have an option to control the graphics settings so it run in default settings.
So you can see that this game which it has pretty high end graphics also runs smoothly as it does, does on a high end smartphone. So the next game we will test is Angry Birds Go which is made by Rovio and has good graphics but is not specially made for tablets so it is better look so it better looks on phone and uh, you may experience some uh, uh, pixelation if you play the game on blue stacks but it runs very smoothly as you can see So the next we are going to test is uh, Subway Surfers which is a new f uh, incoming for BlueStacks as it worked not at all worked uh, in the previous versions but in this version we have a support for this game but it does not work smoothly and we can hope that it works smoothly in uh, later versions. So you can see that it works but its performance is not up to the mark and not as smooth. So the next and last in our testing is Temple Run 2 and it is the latest version with the water animations in it and uh, you can see that it runs smoothly but it's not enough on a non graphic card PC I have tested it on other PCs with a graphic card and it works smoothly on them Mm. 
so guys thanks for watching please like this video and subscribe to my channel and also share this video with your friends so that everybody can see it and install blue stacks on their pc if you want to see my previous video which which shows installation and addition of google account there's a link in the description like right below the like button and uh, i'll see you guys in the next one